This is the main Zotero landing page. And in the middle of the landing page, we can see there's a big red download button. And this video is going to be concerned with the various downloads that we can get from this Zotero landing page. So if we click on this download button, this takes us to this page here. The left half of the page recognizes that I'm using a Mac. So it's offering me the, the latest version of Zotero as a download for the Mac. If I was using a Windows computer or a Linux computer, it would offer me the, Lin the Linux or the Windows version of this. On the right hand side, this is where we get the Zotero connectors for our browser. And here, because I'm using the Google Chrome browser, it's offering me the Chrome connector. If I was using Firefox or Safari, it would offer me the connectors for those as well. And the plugins here, this is where we would get the plugins for making Zotero work with Microsoft Office, Neo Office, Open Office, and those kind of word processors. But these will be covered in another video. So just for the moment, we're going to look at the Zotero connector. So if we click on this Install Chrome Connector button, it will take us to the Chrome Web Store where you've got the option here to add this to your Chrome browser and it's telling me I've already added it to the Chrome browser and that's this little icon here. This pops up on any web page giving you the option to save the metadata of the web page into your Zotero. So mine is already installed. I don't need to deal with that. Um, you can just go back to the main Zotero download page and that's everything covered on the downloads. So assuming that you've installed the connector and you've downloaded and installed your Zotero, we'll cover these in the next video.